It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's fall. The leaves are changing. Red, orange, and yellow leaves falling to the floor. Pumpkins are sprouting. Do pumpkins sprout? Pumpkin spice latte at your favorite coffee shop. Jack-o'-lantern carving. Halloween's coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. Kids are back to school. The air is getting a bit cooler. And here in the Northeast, it's my favorite time of the year. And this is usually the time of the year I feel most inspired. I always say that it's something about the light outside. I, I don't know what it is. I always just feel like I'm in a movie this time of year. The lighting is so amazing. But I want to do something a little different. I have a, a bit different of an idea that's going to incorporate a lot of different types of video ideas that have been thrown around by subscribers and people on the forum. I'm going to limit my track count in this series to four tracks. I'm not going to do any bouncing. Um, I don't want to have to use any screens basically, although I will be using my iPhone for a drum machine app, but I don't really count that, although I guess that is a screen, so I'm already breaking my own rules. I'm not going to use my computer at all, except for the mastering phase, and if you if you don't have a cassette recorder, that's cool. You can use your DAW. Um, I think the most important thing is, like, let's just make some music. I'll do an outline of, like, how I'm going to be doing my song and each video or each week, like, what I'm going to be working on in terms of the song. My song is actually going to be a hip-hop song. Uh, I've never recorded hip-hop. Well, I've recorded a few songs in the past for fun. Recently I was listening to the Spotify Top US 50 playlist, which is something I don't really do often. Uh, I have this strange, um, as my friend Dan would say, uh, it's a strange disease that I'm usually about five years behind the trends at the moment. So for instance, like a show like Stranger Things, like in the past, I probably wouldn't have found out about that until about another three years from now or four years from now. But I'm not very current with things. Obviously, I mean, I'm doing a channel about cassette four tracks, right? So, but I was listening to the Spotify US Top 50 just to get an idea of like what, what's popular, you know? That's how you really can tell. That's that's where everything is going down now. If you're into popular music, I guess. I mean, everything's going down everywhere. And I was like, man, some of this stuff, I, I don't know. Like, I guess it's, that's just a, I don't know if it's a taste thing or I'm just getting old, but some of it I just don't understand. Some of it I think is actually kind of cool and interesting. Um, and that's kind of what inspired me to make this series was because I started listening to some of the hip hop tracks or, you know, I was just listening to it from one going down the list. And I started hearing some of these sounds in the hip hop tracks and the rap tracks. And they're, to me, it sounds like they're using sounds, very cool stuff like analog synth, like old analog drum machines, like 808s and like 909 samples, or maybe actually the drum machines themselves. And uh, it almost like some, they're using uh, a lot of guitar sounds that are just like really fuzzed out, which is stuff I love. It just reminds me of like 2000s indie rock. I, I don't know, it's it's kind of interesting to me. So I'm like, hmm. And I was talking to Jay about this too. I mentioned this series to Jay and he was like, yeah, well, you know, everybody takes from the same palette of sounds and it's just a matter of how you put them together. And in general, like a lot of the tracks almost have like a lo-fi vibe to them. Um, and they're very simple, which is really cool, you know? And that's why I want to limit the song to four tracks because, you know, a lot of the songs consist of a drum beat and um, vocal and, you know, some kind of hook, a couple hooks, some other variations to um, keep the song, you know, interesting to the listener, so. Um, it's going to be a real challenge for me. Uh, my song is going to be just a kind of a fun, silly one. But oh yeah, I also I also have an idea for a music video for my song that kind of came fully formed. So my series is actually going to end with the production of the music video. So I also thought that would be fun. It's kind of just incorporating all of these different hobbies that I'm trying to work on. So this this series will cover the conception of it, the writing of the lyrics, the arrangement of the beat or the song, mixing, recording, and mastering, and then the music video. So I think it's going to be about six videos. Uh, somewhere in there, I think we're going to hit the 424 subscriber mark. So that's pretty dope. So, you know, and I think we'll leave room to experiment with other ideas as well. But I thought it would be a good way to do a cool experiment, something different I never do, work in a different genre that, I don't know, approach it from my lens or my, you know, workflow. That could be really cool. And also to do it on the four track, that could be really dope. That seems like a good way to incorporate a couple of different ideas because um, Ben, the psychic, 
was asking me to master a track or what my mastering workflow looked like. Torf on the forum had a couple video suggestions. Hi-fi techniques on lo-fi gear. I think that's something we could try to incorporate with this one. Uh, using compression in your signal chain. Is it stupid or awesome? We'll find out. And then mastering and smashing synths. I'm definitely going to have a hook that's, that's going to be based on my synth. I've been practicing it. I'm going to incorporate a lot of different ideas, a lot of different suggestions. But yeah, so come and join me. If you want to do the challenge, the series with me, or follow along at home, you know, we're going to make a complete track from beginning to end. And also with a music video, but I, you know, you don't have to do that part because that's kind of crazy. But yeah, so comment. I'll make a post on Instagram too. If you want to comment there, you know, tell us what kind of song you're going to do. If you have a song you want to do, and then hopefully we can all share them at the end, either on the forum, or maybe we'll make a band camp playlist of all the songs we did during this inspirational time of the year, fall. October is my power month. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Try to rock it in the basement of the crowd